In today's video, I will teach you how to do a perfect masking in GIMP using a high pass. Let's get started. First, open your image in GIMP. In the Layers dialog, right-click the background layer and select Duplicate Layer twice. And you should now have three layers. Now select the top layer, then get to Filters, Blur, then Gaussian Blur, and set the blur radius to 18 pixels. Now reduce the layer's opacity to 50% in the Layers dialog. And to invert the colors, go to Colors, then Invert. Now, right-click the top layer and select Merge Down. Now go to Colors, then Desaturate, and choose Average. Then go to Colors, then Curves, and apply a soft S-curve to enhance the contrast. Now go to Colors, now Brightness and Contrast, and adjust the settings to enhance the contrast further and focus on getting clear contrast, especially in the hair area. Now go to Colors, then Invert. Now add an empty layer above the high-pass filtered layer, then use the brush to paint the person's body white, and for better visibility and to correct mistakes easily, paint on a new layer. And once you're done, merge the painted layer down into the high-pass filtered layer. Then move the original background layer above all layers and set its opacity to around 20% to help identify areas that needs painting. Now use a small black brush to carefully paint around the person's body. And use a larger brush to fill the rest of the background with black. If you use a separate layer for painting, merge it down into the high-pass filtered layer. Now select the entire image and copy it and activate the original background layer and right-click and choose Add Alpha Channel. Then right-click again and select Add Layer Mask, then paste the copied image onto the mask. Then use the anchor button in the Layers dialog to apply the pasted image into the mask. Then create a new layer, fill it with white, and move it below all other layers for better visibility of the results. And you're done! If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.